Hello again everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com and today I'm going to be taking you through WordPress SEO. Uh, in this first part um, tutorial I'm going to be uh, showing you the best plugins to get and some basic settings that you need to make sure are correct so that your WordPress site is 100% search engine friendly. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the WPEagle.com test site. There's not much on it just yet, um, but as I um, go through more and more tutorials, the site's slowly going to build up, and hopefully you can join me on that journey as we turn this into a fully functioning WordPress website. Okay, so the first thing you need to do uh, in terms of WordPress SEO um, is obviously log into your WordPress dashboard. I've got it here. And the first thing you can check, um, and you don't need a plugin for this, is the permalink settings of your blog. Uh, and basically what these are, these are the URLs um, that WordPress gives to your posts and pages. Um, we can make them more search engine friendly by just uh, making a change to this setting here. So by default it gives the, everything a number, uh, which is not particularly search engine friendly. So what you need to do is go down, um, post name isn't too bad, um, that one works pretty well. Um, however I like to go for um, adding the category as well so when you've got things nicely uh, organized on your blog um, you know the URL reads in a logical way so to add the category you put the uh, percentage sign um, and uh, I'm just gonna and I think yeah just the word category um, let's just go for that you can obviously add whatever you want here um, but this is my pre preferred uh, way of doing it so once that's done Oh, and this, I don't think this has gone to post name, that needs to be, um, it's gone to post ID, it needs to be post name, just like that. Um, so do that, and then obviously click save changes. Um, and that's all done. Okay, so now we're going to go and install um, a SEO plugin. Um, the best one, and the most recommended one around the internet, is uh, one by Yoast. So if we just do a quick search um, in the plugin area, so I'm going to do a search for Yoast SEO. Now this plugin takes care of everything from sitemaps to page titles, um, your social media, links, um, all those kind of things. So yeah, it's, it's one of the best. So let's just click install now. You see it's the third one down there for a search. That's just going to download very quickly and install and then we're done. So let's activate that plugin. Uh, that's all done. You can allow tracking if you want or not. Um, it's up to you. Now at the moment this site is blocking robots, so um, on most sites you won't get this warning, um, but you know until the site's ready to go live, um, you can expect to see that message. This is a setting that's set within uh, the reading settings. So now we've installed um, Yoast, we get this SEO uh, option here, uh, and let's just have a quick look at what we've got. Um, you can subscribe to, to get updates from Yoast. Okay, so the first setting is uh, Google Webmaster Tools and Big Webmaster Tools. So if you want to authenticate your sites with these services, and in the second part of this uh, SEO tutorial, I'm going to be going through setting up Google Webmaster Tools and uploading an XML sitemap um, using this uh, plugin. But for now, the main thing you want to look at is your titles and metas. So um, the page title is probably one of the most important things when it comes to SEO, and that's where you're going to put the keywords in um, that you want to rank for. So on your home page, uh, this is where you're going to set your title. So for example, if you're selling uh, blue widgets, you'd probably set your title to be um, blue widgets um, and maybe green widgets too if you sell green widgets and yellow widgets. And the meta description is going to be the snippet of text that appears within Google search results. So um, again, you probably want to use the keywords that you want to rank for. Um, obviously make sure you type them correctly. And then you also want to add a little bit to kind of attract a click. So uh, available to order online, fast shipping, uh, worldwide. Now that's going to be what appears on Google. And obviously, it's all very well getting ranked, but you also want to get some clicks. So your meta description is a great way of attracting those clicks. So once that's done, click Save Settings. Um, if you've got a Google Plus page, which I would recommend, um, you can link it here by entering the idea. ID and if you want to use or for highlighting again that's when a little picture of you appears on Google um, next to blog posts and things you can choose the uh, the main author that's going to pop up uh, for the home page uh, generally the other ones um, will be the author of the actual post okay uh, that's probably really you've got a whole load more settings in here and it's kind of setting the basic um, 
titles uh, as a template. But the best thing about Yoast is that you can go into um, when you're editing a page, so for example, I've only got the sample page at the moment, um, but Yoast adds this great um, panel here for doing all your SEO. So you can actually um, do a search for the keyword uh, for the keyword that you're, you want to rank for and see if people are actually searching for it. So let's say we're selling, um, I don't know, uh, forms, carbon forms, because I've just been working on that. Um, as we start typing, it brings up um, ideas for, for keywords. So we'd select that, and then obviously then we can start typing in um, our page title, and it even gives you a nice little snippet at the top here um, to show you what it's going to look like on Google. So as you see, as I'm typing, it's filling it in. I'm not going to do it all, but you get the idea. And then Yoast will start to score your page um, based on how many times you've used your keyword, um, whether it's in the content, uh, in the description just here, in the page URL, which is up here. Um, and you can even go into even more detail once you've set some um, focus pages and it will give you a score. Um, so, you know, if you can get that cut, that little light there green, that means you, you really well optimized the page. Okay, and that's it really for now. Um, so obviously when you're writing a blog post, make sure you fill in all these things and, and you're, you, you know, you're halfway there to some good SEO. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously post in the comments and for more videos, visit wpeagle.com. I'll see you soon.